on this January the 5th, Wednesday, morning prayer begins on page 80. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and to the, the Son, Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in, in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The Venite on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 2, found on page 586. Psalm 2, page 586. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear, and with trembling bow before him. Lest he be angry and you perish, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The reading today is from the Gospel according to John. When Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. I know that thou hearest me always, but I have said this on account of the people standing by, that they may believe that thou didst send me. 
And when he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The third song of Isaiah on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, by day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will be no more heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the the Son, and and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers found on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be be thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come. come. Thy will will be be done done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. And not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Creating us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Colic for the Second Sunday After Christmas. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity, your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today we pray continually for the coming of the light at Christmas. Lord, we pray for your church that enlightened by the light of Christ, we may share that light with others. God of light, in you there is no darkness at all. Shine, we pray, your light into the darkness of our lives, that we may know the truth of ourselves, that we may bring healing to places of division and conflict that we may see the path that you have set before us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your gift of learning, and we pray for all who study, all who teach, and all who support their work, that a new generation will discover an ever deeper love for truth and an ever greater compassion for others. Lord God, yours are the depths of all wisdom and knowledge. Be with us all as we seek after truth in our studies, our relationships, and our experiences. Give us your gift of discernment, we pray, to see where the truth lies, that we may know what is right, that we may love it with undivided hearts, and that we may pass on what we have discovered to those that come after us through the one who himself, the wisdom of God, even Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen.
a colic for renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, draw far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.